Hello. 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 We are Pig Hat. I'm Aaron. I'm Tony. I'm Dookie. And I'm Adam. And we are Pig Hat. So welcome to the February update of our backlog challenge. Uh, we'll be playing lots of games this month. Everyone? Yeah. 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 Fair fair. Good. yeah. Having a good time. Brilliant. Mm-hmm. Well, uh, who'd, who'd like to kick us off? Adam? Yeah, I'll go first. Month, haven't you? Yeah, February's been a big one. So, uh, I started off with Grand Blue Fantasy Relink, which was really good. It was an eight year wait for the game, so I'm glad it was good. It was very enjoyable. I got loads to do after the story. It's got like hunts and stuff, but I've done the story, which is the part that counts for this, so all good. Uh, I then finished and got the platinum for Persona 3 Reload, which was amazing. It was a good eight hours, always worth it. Uh, I then finished Attack on Titan Wings of Freedom, which I've had for ages. That was all right. Uh, I then sacked off Sackboy. So I played it for a little while. Didn't really enjoy it, not my jam. So I've abandoned that for the one point. Too many collectibles for Adam's life. Yeah, fuck that game. <laughs> I, hate ga- I hate games that make you have to have got so many of something before you can proceed. Just let me fucking proceed. <laughs> anyway, ran over. I then played nine hours, nine persons, nine, nine, nine hours, nine persons, nine doors, which is a Japan anime sort of visual novel escape room game. So that was pretty fun. And then I played the sequel to that, Virtue's Last Reward, afterwards. Uh, they come in a pack called the Nonary Games. They're originally on the Vita. Uh, I then played through and got the platinum for Telltale Batman, which I'd never finished because me and Tony started it ages ago on um for the channel and we lost the recording so i get to finish our drink no i finished my drink on my personal playthrough uh, and then i lost two points because i bought persona 5 tactica another persona game and another one that i have installed on the xbox <laughs> but i bought it for the playstation anyway <laughs> um i then went through all three dark siders games and finished all of those really loved Great those games. games fantastic games Glad I rebought them ages ago on the PlayStation so I could play them as part of this. Um, and then that was my February. So I don't have the maths for how many points I actually got in just that time, though. Because well, I was prepared. You, 28 you... points. Very nice. So my so current what's your... overall. Oh, yeah, we got this. My current overall is 52 points. Round of applause. Wow. Yeah, yeah, boys. I've got no life. Yeah. <laughs> Insert clap sounds again. Yeah. Perfect. Excellent. Yeah, that's me. That's my busy February. I'm just gonna go let the dogs out. You just continue. Who, who, who? Perfect. Thank you, Adam. Uh, Ducky, how has your February been? Yeah, it was uh, quite a busy one. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten games. No, no, not ten games because I'm counting other things but we'll get around to that anyway <laughs> but anyway um so i kicked off february with costume quest so i finished such, costume quest such a good game <laughs> mm. yep and i got all the achievements in it i did not buy the nice. dlc though um Ooh. and then <laughs> are still out there causing causing trouble they are and they're on ice <laughs> And then uh, I moved on to Metal Gear Rising Revengeance, which I've had for nice. so long. And <laughs> the funny thing is because I, I, I remember starting it and then going to load up my game and not being there. So I thought, okay, maybe I, maybe I haven't actually started it. Got through the first couple of levels. So I should have got some achievements by now. But to back set, nope. I did actually do like the four missions on my Xbox 360. Obviously you did not like half it. the game. <laughs> yeah. So I mean, playing through it again is a really good game, and played through both DLCs as well. It's on my list to play at some point. I mean, what one of the DLCs is very very short, so I thought that rather than a point for each DLC, I just rounded both DLCs into one point. Yeah, it's not a bad way to do it. Um, but fuck getting all the achievements for that. The VR <laughs> missions are incredibly hard. 
And then uh, from that moved on to Assassin's <laughs> Creed Chronicles India. Mm-hmm. China was very good. So, but because I'd already played that, it went through India, and that was also very, very good. Um, then went on to Banjo Kazooie, which okay. I finished. <laughs> and fuck that last level. Nah, it's all good. No, that quiz, that quiz at the end. Spent, oh, took hours getting through it. Yeah, but it's fun. <laughs> it's just like, here's a picture. Which level is this? It's like, I don't know. That's a bit of, that's just brown. There's brown everywhere. <laughs> need to pay more attention to what the levels are. Oh, well, obviously. <laughs> it's the same brown polygons as every other level. <laughs> no, all the levels are different. <laughs> yeah, different shades of brown. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, that makes sense. Um, then went on to Killer is Dead, which oh. again is one I've wanted to play for a very, very long time and not not finished. Yeah, that's one that's on my list as well. I think I've owned it on the Xbox 360 for at least a decade. <laughs> yeah, that was my. I was one of mine done in January because I'd had it for so long. Very, very good. I got distracted a little bit doing some of those side quests as well rather than just ploughing straight through, but experience most of that game. Uh, yeah. So the journey is a really nice sort of like chilled game that you can just, just go through. There's not a lot to it, but it was still still enjoyable. You could easily just sort of like, again, like it's, it's a really chilled game. Um, then played Among the Sleep. Love that game. That's very, very no, good. No, thank you. Among the Sleep. No, thank amazing. you. Very, very good. So, like going through it, it's like at, at, at the beginning, just like completely confused what was going on, but the, like I'd say the message in it and the story behind it and how clever that they tell that story. Yeah. Very, very good. Very good. It is. And if you go back and play through it a second time, which I did because I got all the achievements in it, um, you start to pick up on things right from the beginning, and it's just like, oh, I see. Very good. Yeah. I, start, I started streaming that, realised I was playing as a baby, and the baby was constantly in danger, and I didn't want to play it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you only waddle around while you're walking and oh. have to crawl. No, I don't. Yeah, just like pretend it. you're a duck. Yeah, waddle, waddle. <laughs> and it waddled away. Waddle, waddle, waddle. <laughs> Still the very next day. Anyway, we're so cool. <laughs> we really are. <laughs> uh, we all live in the noughties. Oh, man. Anyway. But yes, so I'm very, on, very. Among the sleep. <laughs> yeah, very, very good game. Really enjoyed that. And then. I was naughty and bought Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. So worth it. But it's so just, worth it. Well, my thought behind it, though, was because I had the deluxe version of Final Fantasy VII Remake and I didn't want to miss out on the deluxe version of Rebirth. Yeah, that, makes that's, sense. That's, that's how I almost ended up buying the collector's edition of Rebirth with the Sephiroth statue because I bought the collector's edition of Oh. Remake, but it's so much money for one, and also I don't own a PlayStation Five. <laughs> yeah, that would make it oh. a bit of an odd choice. But you would have yeah. owned a Sephiroth statue. It's a very nice statue, Bayfair. Oh, There's still Frost, time. Big cherry, Peter Pan, Mac and Cheese, Sephiroth. Please don't ruin <laughs> that song for me forever. How dare you? Uh, um, so yeah, that was that was my February. Um, so total February was twenty one points. Um, oh, so nice. my running points are is what did I get last week? Add sixteen to that is thirty seven in total. Nice, very nice. Round of applause for Excellent clap. Thank you very much, Dickie. Good job. Tony. Tony. <laughs> I actually played games. Yay! Yay! 
I was trying to think of something that included the word fuck to say because in the last two videos I've said fuck when it's been my turn, but fuck. You, you there fucked you go. with games. I fucked with some games. Yeah. So I actually played four games. Doesn't sound like much. No, for you it's impressive though. But it's, it's a lot of games. So I started the month with Call of Cthulhu, uh, which was actually a game with gold um, that I'd always been interested in. So I was just like, hey, I'll play it. I own it. Why not? Uh, it's not what I expected at all. Um, but it was good. Uh, I want to go back and uh, get all the achievements in it, but it means I've got to do certain things for certain achievements and pain in the ass. Yeah, I've watched a playthrough mm. of it. It does look good, get to be fair. It is. It's just I was. I thought from like the trailers and stuff that I'd seen and some gameplay I'd watched that it was going to be a bit more tense, but yeah. it really wasn't. So, yeah, it's more a detective thing than a spoopy, spoopy thing. Yeah, it is, but I, I don't know. I just there was like one section of the game that made me jump once, and that was it. And I was like, oh, I thought the whole game was going to be like this. But yeah, it was good. It was enjoyable. Um, I then played Costume Quest, following yeah. Dookie's footsteps. Uh, Phenomenal I can, game. I played the whole game. I got all the achievements. I owned the DLC apparently, so I played the DLC and I got all the DLC in the. Uh, achievements in the DLC as well. So yeah, lots of points on Costume Quest. Very fun game. Um, I then went to the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe Edition, which I completed in five minutes um, because that's how long it takes to beat the game. But there's also like 50 endings, so I went through and got like 30 of them. So I spent about five hours-ish on it. Um, really enjoyed that. Really funny. Um, and I do pretty... want that. It's really clever how um, I I thought it was just like once you finished it, it starts fresh and then you do it again and you try and get another ending. And then once you get that ending, and it starts fresh, it actually incorporates everything you do yeah. all into one. And it's just really clever. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, uh, I'm going to be trying to get all the achievements in that as well. But I have to wait 10 years to play it again. Yeah, uh, I, if I, I think I the achievements. Do you say ten mm. years? I thought it was mm. just a year, wasn't it? Ten. No, it's ten. Oh fuck! So I, uh, towards the end of 2022, I launched the game. So hopefully in uh 2032, I can get that achievement. I want that to be the first achievement I get in the game. So I'll get that and then play through the rest. <laughs> <laughs> Have you got the OG edition or the one they brought out? The <laughs> the new one. Yeah, the ultra deluxe one. Yeah, yeah. the the Xbox one. Yeah, uh, I, I mean, I keep looking at it on the PlayStation when it goes cheap. I do want it. It is really, really, really good. I highly recommend everyone plays it because it's just super funny. There is I will in eight and a half years. There is yeah, another well, one. I think it's I think it's by the same people called Doctor Doctor Langaskov, the Tiger, and the Terribly Cursed. I've Emerald. played that one. Yeah, I've played that one. It's a very short one. It's very good though. It is very um, good. Yeah. That's on I'm, Steam. It's free. I mean, the Stanley Parable is really short if you just follow what the narrator says from the start, because <laughs> if you finish it in five minutes, I didn't expect to finish it that quickly. I was just like, oh, okay. Well, I guess I'll go back and not do what the narrator tells me to do then. Yep. But yeah. yeah, you have to you have to do a lot of ignoring the narrator in that game. Yeah, but it's amazing. Uh, and I finished the month off with Avatar: The Last Airbender: Quest for Balance. Which I pre-ordered and paid full price for, and it's not great. So not I, great. I, oh. I, uh, I regretted that. But after a long time of playing it, you kind of get used to the janky controls, the fact that it, you can't rotate the camera, and that the combat's terrible, and there's no cutscenes. And yeah, it's, it's an okay game. <laughs> Honestly, well, yeah. I, could have, I could have done so much more with Avatar. Because it's got voice acting, hasn't it? Did they? Is that just yeah. clips from the show? Uh, no, I think that because basically the premise of the game is it's the uh, White Lotus uh, have gathered together to play a game, and Avatar, someone the Last Airbender, <laughs> yeah, <Completed again. laughs> the yeah. Burning Earth, <laughs> the Burning <laughs> Earth, yeah, which they completed in the tutorial. Um, so they gathered to gathered together to play a game, and then someone's come in and they want to make a play about the whole story of Avatar Aang. So they, okay. they're asking, like, Iroh and Boomy, um, 
what actually happened and it's like them retelling the yeah. whole story of the avatar which i don't know right. how these characters knew the whole story because they weren't with the characters the entire time throughout all three books but they they tell it it's just a convenient well. plot device isn't it so yeah i mean you'd think they'd like interview the actual characters if they wanted to know what actually happened or i don't know yeah, that would make more sense, but it wouldn't be as fun because you wouldn't get it boomy about and stuff. No, but, which is... but boomy and Iroh are playable characters, so you would still have them. <laughs> it just, I love boomy. Just it, yeah, it was okay. It was an okay game. Um, I think it's fucked me for achievements, but we'll see. I'll try next month. Well, March. we have we have agreed as a group that you can take the point for getting all the achievements because you you have done everything other than the one thing that's glitched you out and And it's through no fault of your own yeah so we're we're all very much there for agreeing that you um can take the point for that yeah Mm -hmm. okay well that was that was my march so in total i got 15 points and in january i got no points so i'm on 15 points Thank you. Nice. Thank you very much, Tony. Congratulations. Yay. Not on the Avatar thing, but <laughs> the rest of it. The Avatar it's thing sounds like a bad time. <laughs> yeah, what is it with Avatar and, and video games? It just yeah, doesn't Avatar, always pan out, does it? I mean, I enjoyed the Burning Earth, um, because although you can get all the achievements in the game in the tutorial, I still played through the entire game anyway, um, just because I love Avatar. I never finished the game because the game crashed during the last boss and then I just was like, you know what, fuck it, I can't bother to play this anymore. So yeah. Do you know maybe I, it's one I, you should revisit. I couldn't get the all the achievements in the tutorial because I couldn't get a high enough combo and I gave up. <laughs> <laughs> that was easy. Yeah, I gave up. I was like, yeah, I'm done with this. Fair enough. Oh. We all anyway, know how lazy I am. How was your February? Ooh. That was my February, but it was much better than my January. So not only did I not get minus points this month, I actually played and completed some games. So I started the month, and I say started the month because I think this was midway through, um, by playing and completing Garden Story, which is a delightful little game where you play as a grape who has been tasked to be the new guardian of this this world um, that is basically built of areas that are seasons. Um, and you have to fight against the rot, which, you know, as living living plant matter is not good. Um, but yeah, great, great little game. Had kind of Zelda-style combat. Um, really, really light farming mechanics. And really good soundtrack. So... Highly recommend if you're into Zelda y cute little indie grape games. Um no, it's, <laughs> it's quite game. niche, but <laughs> if you like grapes, you like this game. I like grapes. Yeah. I've always said I need more grape games in my life. Yeah. I like frozen well, grapes. And Garden Story is that grape game. Well, and in Garden Story you can go to a frozen wasteland where you can be a frozen grape. So oh, there you go, well, Tony. You can that, finally live good. out your dream. Frozen grapes. <laughs> uh the next game i played was a very short um indie game called satan loves cake which is literally a game about uh it it starts with satan sat on his sofa watching like the the great hell bake off and uh eating cakes until he eats all of them and then has to make his way through hell to get to the bakery to get more cake um it was really short so for completing it i only gave myself one point because it didn't feel like a like a proper completion yeah um but it was quite tough um despite despite its length uh but very very delightful um very delightful game i think it's on itch.io um either very cheap or free um you can get it but i i got it a couple of years ago when I bought a bundle. Yeah, nice. Um, but yeah, check it out. Satan Loves Cake. Very nice. 
again, mm. good soundtrack for uh, for such a small, I think, one person team made game. Oh, it's like a one dev. Mm. <laughs> I think so. Uh, I'll double check that. If I'm wrong about that, we can edit that out. Um, or not. Who cares? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Who's really going to edit that out? Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> the next game I played was DLC Quest, which, uh, again, kind of two games bundled into one, but two very short games, so I just counted it as a single game. Uh, but it's it's basically a game I've owned on Steam for a really long time, and the it's just kind of a satire of the current current gaming. Um, I think uh, I used to own it on the three sixty years ago. Oh, uh, okay. But yeah, the the whole thing is that you you literally can't do anything in the game without buying DLC. So you start off collecting five coins, so then you can earn the ability to walk left um or buy the ability to walk left yeah and you gotta like buy jump coins. and stuff haven't you yeah yeah, yeah. yeah it's ringing a bell but this is years ago yeah i think years. i think the game is from like 2010 or something yeah um but uh no it was really really fun really clever um the way they they used the like dlc buying mechanics and a lot of good jokes um, that are still as relevant today as they were, you know, almost 15 years ago. Probably more relevant today than they were. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, most likely. Yeah, it's because... Out of hand. I mean, it's microtransactions now, which which is essentially what that game was before microtransactions were a thing. Yeah. yeah. Um, so actually it kind of predicted uh, some of some of the current, uh, current trends. Your but yeah. DLC quest. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, let's blame that. EA bought you. <laughs> and they're like, hmm. Yeah. Hmm. This gives me an idea. Yeah. <laughs> but no, that was really good. And then um Yeah, went through and got all of the achievements on that. There were a couple that were for like speed running um through them that were tough. Uh I had to do it a few times for each of them, but it was well worth it. And cool. uh then the last game I played was Dagon, which is a, much like Call of Cthulhu, a HP Lovecraft inspired game. This one was actually more like an interactive storybook of, of the story Dagon. Um, mm. But it was really cool, um, really interesting way to experience that story. Very good, again, I think it's quite like a relatively low low budget um thing but very good graphics and things for uh for what it was cool. but again very short um so only gave myself one point for that but i did go through and play through it a couple of times to get all of the achievements so um extra point there but point. uh yeah i'd recommend giving that one a go if you're interested in any hp lovecrafty stuff it was really cool as well because during basically it's you you kind of you'll click something and it will take you to the next story section and then when you're looking around there are things that you can interact with and some of them are facts so some of it's just facts about hp lovecraft and his life which um yeah good interesting if you if you're interested in this stuff but uh yeah so that was my month so i think in total i earned 11 points which, uh, along with my minus two points, brings me to a total of nine. Hooray! Got dog on my lap, so I was forgetting to clap. Strike <laughs> <laughs> the dog. Yeah! The, the dog clap. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. There you go. She is very confused. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> Cool. Oh, yeah. Well, um, well, that was February. Yeah, I think uh, I think we're starting to get into the swing of things, especially Adam. Um, that's an insane amount of games. No, yeah. I will say March is essentially going to be one game because we all know what game came out at the end of this month. So that's it. I'm My just telling you now. Four. <laughs> yep. 
the quest to save Equestria. That's what it's called. I was going to say Bluey the video game. That's just Bluey the video game. Adam's time. Yeah. It's, on, it's on Game Pass and he's not stopped. To be fair, well, yeah. Although, is, is, isn't there a new Bratz game coming out, Tony? Oh, God. Let's not, <laughs> let's not revisit Bratz. I mean, I think Tony should do a solo Bratz playthrough for the channel. Yeah, speedrun. That, that video has so many views. <laughs> It is unbelievable. I'm gonna because everyone's confused as to why a human being actually played it. Well, no, because like our game over video for um, uh, we've, we've accidentally managed to hit like the key words that have made people look at it. Yeah, yeah. what what was it? Uh, World of Illusion. Uh, World, World of Illusion. Illusion. Yeah. Yeah, episode three or something. It has the most views on our channel ever because we put the words game over, so people are actually just looking for game over screens. And oh, I see it. They've just like watched the first, I don't know, five five minutes of it, and it's actually us playing it. And they're like, "Oh no, fuck this!" And they turn it <laughs> off, but it still counts as views. And uh, so someone in the comment has put the timestamp of when the actual game over happens. They have, they so the people who are there <laughs> to really? see yeah. the game over screen can go in, go to the comments, and click it just to see that part. Oh, that's well. crazy! They have. Uh, so. That video, game over, man. That has six point nine thousand views. for wow. game over, man. Probably which more is... than the rest of the videos combined. Yeah, That's impressive which, work. Which yeah. is insane. But then mine and Vicky's Bratz video <laughs> is, you know, why not play Bratz? Because it's one of the best games ever. It has four hundred thirty nine views, which is a lot of views. For two grown men <laughs> playing, <laughs> playing Bratz Forever Diamonds. Uh, I mean, it's a banger of a game. Just... I mean, if you're going to play any yeah. Bratz game, Forever Diamonds is the one you want to play. It's the best one of them all. I just remember hating every second of it. If I'm honest, the skating around the mall. Well, all if you'd like to see Tony hating his life, uh, please feel free to go and check out <laughs> Bratz Forever Diamonds. I'm going to put the video um, on the end card. It will be <laughs> somewhere. And leave Excellent. loads of comments telling him to play more so then he's forced to. Yes. Yeah. Um, if nothing else, we are driven by peer pressure. So oh, yes. the, Absolutely. The, the more comments you leave, the, uh, the more likely he is to play it. So get on it. But uh, thank you all for watching. Um, Dookie. You yes. know about our streaming stuff. If people would like to see you or potentially any of us live, what, where, where go? Uh, what do? What do? Uh, what do? We go kick. We are on Twitch. We are on YouTube, which is where this video will be. Um, what? True. <laughs> uh, and you can also follow us on Twitter, on Facebook on threads on <laughs> i'm missing one instagram yeah there we go um and if you ever see us on the streets you can just follow us uh in person yeah or feel free to nice. send us hate mail you know through through the old post put a stamp on it yeah but it box. has to be hate mail where the eight is the letter eight yeah so it's h8 otherwise we don't read it Discord. Uh, we have a Discord. We do have a Discord. Discord, yes. Good. So if you'd like to come and chat with us or play along, um, I think we've got a little bit of a community now playing along with us, uh, yeah. up points. So feel free. We would love for you not only to get involved, but also beat us because we're masochists and we just, um, you know, we love the pain. If, uh, if you like this video, obviously feel free to let us know. Give a thumbs up. If you don't like this video, please also let us know. Thumbs down. Um, say, hate comments. Um, we love it. We want, we want to hear them. Um, you, you might make us cry. And if you do, we might film it. So I will. it's a good one. Uh, and obviously subscribe so that you can continue abusing us every time a video comes out. And as we mentioned, we did do a whole host of uh, Let's Plays and whatnot over the years. Um, so feel free to go have a look at them uh hate on us some more no okay. any final thoughts no. don't watch any of our videos they're shit <laughs> <laughs> and we're, we're all not... a bunch of yes. we're not actually very good at hosting let's play videos
Ehkä. Ehkä. Tämä on hyvä. Cool. Yeah. Well, thank you for watching everybody. And uh, we will see you in March. Because it's definitely yeah. not March now. Oh, it's definitely. not. Nope. Well, it, it We've had, definitely has... recorded this at the end of February. No, it has to yeah. be March because we can't record it in February because what if we play games on the last day of February? Yeah, it's definitely the 1st of March. Yeah. yeah. Like that. We're recording this on the 29th of February because there's, there's only yeah. one of those in it's gonna be this, so. It's going to be midnight really soon. Really, really soon it's going to be midnight, so we're not worried about anyone else getting points in February. I just yeah, finished the game. makes sense. One more point for me. <laughs> No, you I'm did. kidding. Well, okay, I love you. Bye. <laughs> bye. 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 Yeah, I, no, I have nothing funny to say this time. Treat me rough, Daddy. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Um, it's a sound bite.